Leo, this message is for you. So I'm showing that your sensitivity will be increased this week. It will be important for you in um, some actions you need to take. Yeah. Justice being served. Most importantly, stand up for what's right to you. Don't let others, people's opinions and Hi, this is Sonia here to do a tarot reading for you. All readings are timeless, and when you are drawn to this reading, there could be a message for you. Remember, energies can go both ways, so you could be a cross-watcher. Also, check out your moon and rising sign for better understanding, and if you'd like to support the channel, there are links to donate down below. If you'd like further understanding or spiritual understanding, you can subscribe to my other channel. There's a link for that below. Also, if you would like a personal reading, um, email me for rates or an appointment. And as always, thank you to all of you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And let's get started. Hi, this message is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, you can also have North Node or Venus in Leo. And I've pulled the Oracle card, some Archetype cards, and some Tarot cards. And I'm going to clarify with another Tarot deck as I go. And always, as always, thank you for liking, subscribing. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe. And comment below if you have anything that you want to say about the video or anything. But anyway, sorry, I'm trying to make my camera. Okay, so... <clears throat> Their overall energy I got message um, is from the Crystal Mandel Mandela Oracle, and it is sensitivity, which it says Ascended Master, Lady Nada, and Rotocrosite. Rodos, I don't know how to say that. Anyway. I'm going to read that message. It's These are a little bit longer, but they have a lot of useful information. So it says, we bring you the blessing of sensitivity. Being sensitive in this world can be tough sometimes, yet your sensitivity is essential if you are consciously filled and work with your subtle energy. Receiving and sending telepathic transmissions, filling and releasing energetic cords, tingling with exquisite blessings of divine love, sensing the whispers of divine grace, and seeing the luminous, sparkling particles of life, force dancing wildly, and the beauty of shimmering auric fields in dazzling and colorful display. To be given the gift of sensitivity to perceive the energetic worlds is like being invited to the most special, extraordinary exhibit of sacred art. You may have struggled with your sensitivity, found out it found it difficult to bear during times of emotional suffering, yet you have great a great gift and it will bring you so much joy. If you are learning to develop your sensitivity, we will help you so you too can feel uplifted as you witness the energetic beauty of creation. The world of energy is very real. Its effect on all people, even those that cannot consciously perceive it, is also very well real. As you consciously perceive subtle energy, you are more skillfully man manage how you are affected by the energy of the world around you, the energy of spirit, and how you use and project your energy into the world. There are those such as you who understand this and want to see know and perceive these energetic realities the universe loves you and knows you do not want to be afraid to see the diverse and fascinating world of energy to increase your ability to do this work you will need to grow your sensitivity with sensitivity it is possible to sense feel perceive subtle energies as if they were just as real if not even more so than the denser physical forms of the world, like the table and chairs in your home, for example. The desire to do this, to open up, to perceive these worlds, comes from an impulse within your spirit to know reality, to understand the truth of ex existence beyond the physical form. This is not something that has to be frightening. Perceiving and understanding the world of energy can be very interesting 
and empowering and exciting. Whatever the reason for your increased interest in the subtle worlds of energy, this oracle brings you a message. Even if you don't really feel an urge to know the worlds of energy at a conscious level, your spirit does. And so the message of this oracle is to bring to you. There is loving energy reaching for you now. If your sensitivity is already well developed, you will be able to feel it has a sense of love in your heart. If not, know that the higher love, love energy loves you and is sending you a message. It's, it wishes to confirm that it has been seeking to connect with you for some time. You might consider this energy to be part of your spiritual team of guides or simply a loving consciousness that wishes to flow through your channels to empower your healing abilities or bless you in some other way with healing and love. By using the following healing process, well, we're not going to go over that right now. Um, if you have been asking for confirmation of a message from a loved one that has crossed over, be it a person or an animal, then this oracle brings to you that confirmation. The loved one is safe, held in divine love, and you can put your mind and heart at rest now. If you have been praying to your guide, guidance and asking to know, feel, hear, see their messages more clearly. This oracle brings you the message um, that it has been heard by your guidance and is being answered in the affirmative now. You shall get your wish as your sensitivity increases. Finally, if you have been sensing that something is not quite right, that there is an energy of fear or darkness around you or another, or are worried that your imagination is working overtime. Do not despair. Yes, you are sensitive to the light, but also to the presence of darkness. There is no need to fear. How you choose to respond to it is what actually matters most. Recognizing when you sense something that doesn't feel like unconditional love and choosing to follow the following thoughts again. There is no need to fear, but there is a need for response. A firm but loving, no thank you, I choose love today, move on please, is more than enough to keep you held, safely held in love. In this way, you can see your sensitivity does not make you vulnerable, but rather more aware. And if you respond to what you're sensing without second guessing yourself, much more powerful too. It's much more powerful too. Okay. All right. So, you're going to have, be more sensitive this week in some way. Um, horse spirit is the spirit animal card that I got for you. Um, this message, I'm going to read it too, but it's short. And it says, freedom is yours. So... This says, when horse spirit appears, you are gifted with a spirit of movement and freedom. It's time to travel, adventure, and adventure, whether it means taking a trip somewhere or taking a different type of journey. One of freedom of choice. Horse spirits remind you that no matter what the circumstance, you have free will and choices that can make you far away, take you far away to a better place, a better situation, a better state of being. For there is no one... But you to reign in your, reign your will. What? Reign in your will to make a different decision. You are capable of making powerful choices that will affect you for the long time to come. Horses are social animals and know to be a friend to mankind, willing to carry us forward when we need it. Horse spirit reminds us, mind you, that help will be available to you whenever you need it. Companions will be by your side wherever you go. Whatever direction you choose to travel, life is an adventure and horse spirit wants you to know that whatever choices you make, you have great spirit within, invisible yet holding up, and always walking by your side. If your inquiry is about a relationship, you can set your heart free to experience love in all forms. Spirit whispers to you that the gift of freedom is yours to allow yourself to break out of perfectionism and stubbornness, make a move, and enjoy the freedom, freedom of letting go of the need to control. Okay. 
So the first card I got was um, Step Ahead is All You Need. This is about taking like small steps ahead, but since it's reversed, it's like there's um, hesitation. And you get the first card you got to clarify is Death, which is about um, letting go. There's some, you have too much that you're carrying. I'm showing that you have a lot to carry for the masses. There's a lot of people that you're doing for, um, providing for, but there's something you want to get to people, but it's, there's something about asking for help. And this five of inspiration, again, there's like competition, but there's competition in your mind too. Like, you're second guessing yourself, doubting yourself, feeling like you're not good enough, what you have isn't going to uh, make an impact on others, but it does. And what I'm seeing is that I'm kind of seeing like delegating so that you can move forward. But let me see, what is death? Well, we got the Ten of Pentacles. It kind of came out in reverse. Um, so this is like about commitments, family. You could be taking care of a lot of people. Um, what? This is also about like... Feeling a need to be responsible for a lot of people. Hmm. What's the ten of inspiration? What's the ten of inspiration? Okay, so the Knight of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups reversed. That's the five of inspiration. The Six of Swords. I'm going to get one more because that one was one way, flipped over the other way. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be upright or down. Okay. Um, two of Wands. I am not even sure where this video paused. But <laughs> so, um... I'll start right here because I already pulled some cards, but here's the Eternal Child, okay? And it came out with the Six of Materials <clears throat> and the Hierophant. I need to see why the Hierophant is here. Well. Okay, so the cards that flipped out was the Eight of Wands reversed and the Seven of Pentacles reversed. So, what this is basically telling me that is if you stick with what you've been doing, the tradition, the thing that you normally do, that there's going to be no movement. There's no fruits. And that you actually have to connect more with the eternal child, which is like, I want to go have fun. I want to play. I want to... Be joyful and there's a balance that's needed um, with this six of pentacles now the next card I got is the maiden and the maiden is like the virgin um, she's it's like the youthful woman fresh virgin woman and it came out sorry I was cooking food <laughs> Um, it came out with the Fool and the Justice card. Um, let's see why. What is the Fool? Okay, so the Fool came out with the Star. Okay. Okay, and there's a, it's funny because there's a star 
at the end of this ledge too. This is taking some action on some kind of new idea. It's like a new fresh idea. And I think it has something to do with the way maybe the justice system works. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, like all of a sudden justice is coming out a lot. Justice, judgment, the judge. Okay. So in the readings and let me see what the justice is about, but I'm feeling like it's like there's some kind of new, yeah, like a new idea. Nine of Pentacles reversed for justice. And temperance is at the bottom, which is about alchemy. It's like, sorry, I just wanted to do one more. We got the emperor. Yeah, the emperor is like an authority figure or something. Um, and so, because this can represent law and order. And with the nine of pentacles reverse, it's like you could be being sued. Or like, there's something new though. It could be like being foolish with your money. That's one thing that I do see. Um, and then like basically being cracked down on for it. But there's something new. Hold on. So like the maiden represents someone who is curious, flawless, like innocent, okay? And it's almost like there's justice for those who have lost a lot, like lost money, lost, um, yeah, it's like lost, lost in some way. Huh. Okay. Let's, let's see where this is going. Cause this is almost looking to me like some kind of defense lawyer or something. Cause the next one is, um, the underworld. with the five of emotions. Okay, what is the underworld with the five of emotions? The sun, there's your card, okay? It's upright, which is like the happiest card in the deck. So like <laughs> the underworld and then the sun. The underworld is like going it's kind of like going into the pits of Hades or hell and like seeing the darkness and seeing all the, the maggots. That's what's on this card. It's like seeing the maggots. So there's like something about facing your fears and like going into the subconscious world where your fears reside and facing them. It's almost like you're forced to face them through some kind of legal thing. And, um, but you come out like su successful, confident, happy. And then, and then there's this card. Okay. So the last one, it says, choose who you are becoming. Okay. So this is like some kind of transformation which we saw at the very beginning a transformation of letting go there's like some type of some freedom that you're gaining from all of this too there's a lot of horse i see i mean there's a horse on this card there's a horse on this horse spirit card it's like um gaining some type of freedom when you go in and process this and it might have something to do with loss of innocence that's causing this and 
it came out with a seven of inspiration, which the seven of inspiration is defending against darkness. That's why I'm like saying there's like uh, some kind of, what is this seven of inspiration? Yeah, it's this, okay, so you got the Five of Pentacles came out reversed. Again, this is like not feeling, um, this is coming out of the cold, like no longer feeling rejected and broke. I feel like the, the Nine of Pentacles reversed is like broke. Um, and Strength, that's your card again, um, this is overcoming the shadow side. So like, it's like you went through, you're going through some, something that you've got coming up is going to cause you to face like your emotions, the darkness of your emotions, like fears, pain that you have not resolved and face those shadows and tame those shadows and come out stronger. Okay, so this is like choose who you are becoming. This is like choosing what is right for you and what's not and choosing to do what's right for you, okay? And this with the seven of inspiration, this is like others not agreeing with you and feeling attacked. And it's like as you feel attacked for your ideas, for your success, for what you feel is right it's like you can feel like the brightness of that you have for this idea because i feel like it's something new right here with this maiden there's something you want to do um that others are going to be like what that's stupid and you know whatever and um and then you are faced to look at how it's affecting you if it's affecting you if it makes you mad sad then that's the shadow part of you that you are deciding to let go of. Um, because with the Five of Pentacles reverse, it's like, I'm not going to feel sorry for myself, basically. Like, um, this is what I feel is right. This is who I am. And you're becoming free because you basically don't care. You don't give a shit what other people are going to say about it. If it still, if it feels right to you and then you come out, uh, with the strength at the end. I'm really curious to see. what this is. I, I Okay, before I close it, I want to know what this emperor is real quick. What is this emperor? I just, I'm just... I'm seeing you choose to follow something. Maybe... What is this emperor doing here? What's this emperor doing? What is this emperor Oh my god. The Emperor was clarified with the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. The Emperor and the Empress. You could be dealing with a Libra. I got Aquarius, Scorpio, and then I've got water signs here, and Leo. thinking it's almost like because with the four of pentacles it's like um almost like being greedy in a way it's about needing to share like there could be some who are forced to pay up in a situation
there's like paying up there's a lot there's a loss of money but then there's holding on to money but really it's just because you don't want something to be taken away from you but there's something about standing up for what you believe is right and I'm not real sure I'm gonna end it right there I'm not entirely sure what it is you're standing up for but I'm gonna go ahead and end it there so all right thank you